This video will teach you some of the basics of YAML, and the Home Assistant configuration. YAML file. YAML is a type of language that is meant to be easy to understand for both a human reader, and a machine. The configuration.yaml file is the main YAML configuration file in Home Assistant. Within this YAML file, you can configure a lot of different things within Home Assistant, simply by writing some simple YAML configuration script. It is possible to put your entire Home Assistant configuration in the configuration.yaml file. Alternatively you can split your configuration into multiple files, for better organization. Each additional YAML file is referenced in the main configuration.yaml file. The Home Assistant file editor is the quickest and easiest way to edit YAML files. The file editor is a Home Assistant add-on, and therefore must first be installed. Open Home Assistant and click on your username at the bottom of the left-hand sidebar in order to display the profile menu. Scroll down to the Advanced Mode option and ensure that it is switched on. Next, click Settings on the left-hand sidebar, then click Add-ons. Click the Add-ons Store button in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Next, locate the file editor and install it. Once the file editor is installed, it becomes accessible in the left-hand sidebar menu. You can access and open files from the Home Assistant configuration directly in the file editor. With that said, let's take a look at an example of a simple YAML configuration. We will create a button on the dashboard, which triggers a notification within Home Assistant. First, let's specify the script integration. This integration allows us to tie various entities together into a sequence of events. Next, we will create the script, Hello World. This needs to be indented by two spaces and should be followed by a colon. Now we can add the properties for our script. These should be indented by two more spaces, as they fall under the Hello World script. Alias gives the script a human-friendly name. Description allows us to add a note describing what the script does, for our own reference. Lastly we will add the sequence. This is the sequence of events that will occur in our script. In this example we will add just one event, a notification that will appear in Home Assistant. In order to do this, we will use the notify service. Lastly, we will add both a message and title under the service data parameter. Note that integrations should only appear once in the configuration. If you wish to add multiple instances to the script integration, they should all be located under a single instance of the integration. Now that we have completed our YAML configuration, let's go ahead and save the configuration.yaml file. In order for the new script to appear in Home Assistant, we must first reload the scripts. To do this, Navigate to Developer Tools and click Scripts, under YAML Configuration Reloading. Next, open the Dashboard Editor and add a new button card. Here we can select our newly created script, Hello World. You can experiment with the other options, however we will leave them as default for now. Go ahead and click Save to add the button to the Dashboard, and then click the Done button to close the Dashboard Editor. Now we can click our newly created button in order to run the script. If everything has worked correctly, the notification should appear in the notification section, accessible from the left-hand sidebar menu. Congratulations! You have completed your first script configured with YAML. Visit scitech.com forward slash home assistant for more tutorials like this.